in terms of closures and studios that aren't making it, I'd say the majority of them are cardio-based workouts, right? A spin studio, let's use as an example. I think a lot of consumers spent two years on their at-home bike or device and are realizing they're paying, you know, 5% of the cost and their experience isn't that different. And so I think sometimes when the efficacy of the product that you're offering, the service that you're offering, isn't that substantially different from what you can get at home. I think all of these sort of cross-training hit workouts have a little bit more stickiness to them because it's much harder to copy it.